Getting good results from your investment in Microsoft 365 Copilot isn't just about turning on some software features. It's also about taking your team on a journey where generative AI becomes part of the everyday flow of their work. This requires planning, leadership, technical readiness, time and space for exploration, and perhaps most importantly, opportunities to receive training. With the announcement of Microsoft's Copilot Academy becoming available to all Microsoft 365 Copilot licensed users, you now have an up-to-date and curated set of trainings directly from Microsoft, included at no additional expense to help your users learn the skills they need for Copilot at their own pace. Let's take a look at what Copilot Academy is, how you access it, how you manage it, what upcoming features you should know about, and consider whether this is all you need for an impactful Copilot rollout. But first, a quick introduction. My name is Nick DeCorsi. I'm the owner of Bright Ideas Agency, a digital transformation consulting company focused on the needs of smaller businesses. Check out the links below if you're interested in learning more about me or my services. The easiest way to access the Copilot Academy is from Teams. If you don't yet have the Viva Learning app visible, just click on the three dots in the app sidebar and search for it. You can pin this app if you want to. If you already use Viva Learning, you'll be familiar with this view, and you can see you now have access to a specific academy for Microsoft Copilot. The academy offers content across six or seven areas depending on your role, including Meet Copilot, Intro to Prompts, Save Time, Create and Transform, Collaborate and Engage, Put It Together, and Copilot Admin Tools. The content itself is a mixture of custom video tutorials, articles, links to external Microsoft resources, and links to Microsoft Learn. This certainly isn't 100% new content, but primarily tailored curation of existing content to build a flow for a course that can take your learners from zero knowledge to having a good overview of Microsoft 365 Copilot's capabilities. In total, based on the times given on each training, there's about six hours of content here, but the bulk of that is written Microsoft Learn type content rather than potentially more engaging video training. However, each learner will have their own preference on which is better for them. For admins, there are links to a number of Microsoft Learn modules that will be relevant for those deploying Copilot. But I would certainly advocate that at least some of your technical staff should complete these and more before you even start deploying Microsoft 365 Copilot, not as part of that rollout. The Viva Learning LMS has the ability to track your progress, learners can mark their topics as completed and pick up where they left off. As an admin, you can manage this experience. First of all, you could completely turn off the Microsoft Copilot Academy if you want to approach learning in a different way. And you can also download activity logs and learner records for individual users or groups of users. You end up with an Excel file like this one. This isn't a video tutorial for Viva Learning, so I won't dig into it too deep here, but certainly there are broader options here for managing the learning experience if this is a product you choose to use. Just do bear in mind that outside of the entitlement to Copilot Academy that is included with your Microsoft 365 Copilot licenses, premium features inside Viva Learning are an additional paid per user license. Right now, the experience of Copilot Academy is exactly the same whether you have the base tier of Viva Learning or a premium license. Microsoft has committed to continuing to update and refine this content, and there's actually a lot of content they have through other resources that doesn't appear here yet, so there's a lot of opportunity for them to really flesh this out. They are also planning to roll out a nudge feature sometime in Q4 of 2024 to keep existing users up to speed on those updates as they roll out. They have also announced specific upcoming Copilot Academy updates for paid premium Viva Learning organisations too. You'll be able to, at some point in Q4, duplicate the Academy and customise it by removing, reorganising or adding content. And coming in Q1 of 25, you'll be able to create different layers of content for tiers of learning or for specific roles. I'll put a link to the tech community post that communicated all of this down below so that you can read over these opportunities and changes. So the question is, is this all you need? 
Before we answer that question, if you're finding this video useful, it would be great if you'd give it a like. And if you want to see more like this, please do subscribe to the channel. I think this is a really great start for any organization using Copilot, as frankly, there's an overwhelming amount of content on these products and organizing it could be a full-time job in itself. Bringing it together for different profiles of user makes a lot of sense. And for many organizations, this will be really useful. However, just having this turned on doesn't represent a fully fleshed out adoption plan for Microsoft 365 Copilot, nor does Microsoft claim this to be the case. If you want to know more about Copilot adoption planning generally, I'll put a link to my dedicated video on that down below. But specific for training, let's consider what is needed versus what we get in Copilot Academy. First, the balance of training and hands-on experience is really important. We're used to technology training where we sit in a room for an hour, learn which buttons to press, and then we just rinse and repeat daily to get the job done. This is not at all the training paradigm with Copilot. Users need to understand the basic capabilities of the tools, but also need the opportunity to experiment with them, apply them to their specific usage needs, and also potentially make mistakes. Training like that in the Copilot Academy can set your users in the right direction, but it's ultimately your organization's change leadership and the space you create for users to try out these tools that's gonna to make you successful. Microsoft has a lot of other resources that are also great to start that conversation about what Copilot should be used for, such as resources like these dedicated to specific usage roles. This roles-based understanding of bending Copilot to your needs rather than bending your work to Copilot is incredibly important, and every single Copilot user will find value from it in slightly different ways. Right now, the content in the Copilot Academy isn't really tailored to those varying paths. I also believe that Microsoft's approach to training on Copilot misses many foundational elements that are really useful to many learners, such as gaining a robust understanding of how generative AI actually works, why it gives the responses it does, and how it works with data, whether from training or from grounding, to help get the best answer. We should be aiming to educate users both to work with Copilot, but also for a new reality where generative AI is just cropping up everywhere, and so providing foundational skills and understanding that transcend any one vendor's technology seems vital at this point to enable organizations to be agile and to keep everyone safe. However, I have said here before, and I'll say again now, Microsoft's commitment to training and education is second to none. This is a big reason why I am such a strong proponent of Microsoft's tools, because the tools themselves are just one part of a complex equation where your actual goal is to move your organization forward. The opportunities to learn about Microsoft's technologies, usually for free, and to engage with their team members to provide feedback and get insights is, in my opinion, the best in class for similar technology companies. Combine together all these options, and there is literally thousands of dollars of value Microsoft throws in to help you get the best from their tools. But I also believe that often a more customized approach can help you achieve bigger results more rapidly. When I work with businesses on Copilot adoption, the training and education tools that Microsoft offers are just one part of the toolkit I advise on. I believe live, in-person or virtual training is valuable for all users, and dedicated one-on-one -on -one training can be invaluable for executives. There are also other needs, like working out a cadence of communication on Copilot, ensuring those in management and supervisory roles understand the part they play in success, and implementing technology solutions like the fantastic Prompt Buddy app that helps organizations track the prompts that have helped their team members to be successful. If you want to connect with me to learn more about my Copilot adoption services, please check out the links down below. Overall, this is a fantastic new addition for Microsoft 365 Copilot users. I thoroughly recommend you check it out and consider whether this should be part of your Copilot adoption. What do you think? I welcome your comments on this announcement and your views on the training that Microsoft is now sharing with all of our Copilot users. Thanks for watching through to the end. Until the next video, bye bye.